Hey guys! Uh, today is going to be a sort of tutorial video again. Um, I filmed two things that were requested in one video for you. And one is this sort of um, makeup I am wearing in the summer a lot this year. And you might have seen it on me on Instagram or the other YouTube videos maybe. It's a sort of quick and easy um, gothic summer look for me. And also the second request was how I put up my bandana and um, yes I'm wearing it right now and because someone was asking me how to put it up so that it stays on because it wouldn't stay with them so yeah this is how I do it keep watching so at this point I have already put on my foundation which is a mixture of the Gosh Illuminating CC Cream in the lightest shade, which is porcelain, and the P2 Ultra Matte 24 Hours Makeup in the lightest shade, which is matte shell. So I mixed these two for my foundation, and then I put on the Soft Compact Powder by Manhattan in the shade Transparent. So that's already on my face. And now I'm drawing on my eyebrows. And then I'm filling them in with a brush and a black eyeshadow. So what I do next is part of the contouring. Um, I always do that after the um, eyebrows because I like to define my um, eye hollows, I don't know, <laughs> uh, while contouring so I know where, where the, the eyebrows are. So I have this um, sort of dark grey eyeshadow which I use for contouring and a slightly bigger brush. And now I'm going right into my eye hollows and trying to make them sort of dark and go right down the nose. I know that this is hardly visible, but um, I don't want to have so such dark, uh, you know, shadows for this lighter makeup. So now I'm going in with my black eyeshadow again and the smaller brush, and I'm defining this crease area a bit more. And this doesn't have to be perfect because I'm, I'm blending it out in a minute. Now I'm taking a medium sized brush, I don't know, again, and some different dark grey eyeshadow. And I'm um, just going over this. Make the edges smooth.
as I said, this is a very quick and easy thing, so I'm not going to um, shade this out anymore. I'm, I would usually maybe put some white eyeshadow on and, you know, make the contrast a bit higher, but, you know, as I said, summertime somehow is the lazy makeup time, so I'm now just going to um, put on my eyeliner. And now I will just put on some more black eyeshadow underneath the eye to blend out the eyeliner. So if I had been even more lazy, I wouldn't have put this little corner in and um, don't didn't I wouldn't have put black eyeshadow underneath the eye at all. So that's a very lazy day. So I'm usually going over this to pick up some stray color particles. And then I would, would put on my mascara, which at the moment is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Regard Felon Ah, Cat Eyes, sorry. <laughs> but um, I'm not particularly fond of this. Um, I'm just using it up right now. So depending on how lazy I am, I would now start putting dots in places where I usually put dots. Uh, if I'm lazy I wouldn't put any dots on, but today I'm thinking of these, maybe. Yeah. And that's about it. Uh, sometimes I put on some lipstick also. But um, recently I haven't been putting on lipstick because of my new piercing. I wouldn't, I, I usually put the foundation up until there and then don't put on lipstick because I was afraid to, you know, stain the wound and stuff. But um, I would be okay with lipstick right now. I'm just too lazy. Continuing with hair. So because this tutorial includes a bandana for my hair, I'm first starting by folding my bandana. I would take it in half. Now I'm folding it up. And then I'm starting to roll it up from the other side. Then nothing can stick out. you can see me right for the next part so I have my folded up bandana here right here and now this hair is well not the really the quick and easy thing but it's definitely the summer thing because I think if you got a bandana around your neck and head then it's you know it allows for a slight breeze to get in your neck 
So I will now start by spraying my hair with some hairspray. So I'm now just giving my hair a bit of texture. And I would tease it up a little bit. I do all of this just to get more volume to make the bandana stay up, yeah? So that's why I also decided to, I ordered some shit Chinese clip-in extensions to put these in. And they're not, you know, I just, I just use them for more volume. And now, I am taking this sort of hair clip and I am leaving a streak out. And putting this up. And I'm trying to show you I cannot really see what I'm doing here. I hope it looks all right. So I use this sort of bun. You could you could also use this, just a hairband and do a regular bun, but I have so uh, little hair that I need to make, you know, a bigger thing out of it. So I hope this is all right. And now I would put in the bandana. Now I'm trying to make it a little bit uh, diagonal. I would put up the little hairs, put the bandana on. Over the ears. And now, the important thing is this knot here has to make the end stick out to left and right. So, just like that. And now this knot here, here, this bun makes the bandana stay up. Make sure it's nice and tight, but not too tight. And now I'm using a big clip like this. I think it looks cool and I'm using some little bobby pins to pin it around yeah and I think that's me done really I would maybe spray over it again. So that's the look done. Thank you for watching and um, bye.